Why, hello there, guys. My name is Jensen, and today we're going to be, this is going to be rather a different type of video. It's going to be a commentary. I usually don't do these, so please let me know how I'm doing. And, um, yeah, so in this commentary, we're going to be talking about my impressions on the new Black Ops 3 beta. This one is on the PS4, not on the Xbox One. Um, but I am going to be able to play on the Xbox One since I got this uh, PlayStation 4 edition from when it became free on the PlayStation Store. So if you guys would like some more gameplay, please be sure to let me know. And uh, yeah, so the first thing that I'd like to talk about with you guys is the new movement system. Um, for those of you wondering, this is not like Advanced Warfare where you have exosuits and you can jump everywhere and all. This is a lot like a like the original Call of Duties. Um, as an example, I can jump and wall run and all, but I cannot like exo dash forward or something like that. I need to run forward if I want to go somewhere. Um, I can't really explain it in words, but um, you would have to physically play the game in order for um, you to understand. But um, it's very well done, in my opinion, the new movement system. I, at first I was a bit skeptical about it, but now I think it's actually really, really nice. Next thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is the recoil on guns. Now, I don't know what they have done, but what Dave and Vondahar said is that um, he has this is a completely new experience, and in the sense of recoil on guns, it is way different. The recoil on guns is way much, way bigger than previous Call of Duties. As in, like, I need to control it as, like, I need to control it. And usually I don't need to control it as much as I do now. For an example, this is probably, it has near the, it has probably even more recoil, every gun has more recoil than, like, the base gun in Battlefield 4. And for those of you who, ha who haven't played Battlefield 4, um, the uh there's a lot of recoil on guns um and you need to control it it's a it's a type of uh it's a learning curve but you need to learn it in order to uh get good at the game and it's kind of the same thing in black ops 3 and um i have been actually having some dodgy um sensitivity what what i mean by that is i'm it my the sensitivity i can't just seem to find my perfect sensitivity and um I think it's just because I need to get used to the game, and I have only played like maybe one or two hours on this thing in total, but um, since I really did play the heck out of original Call of Duty, this isn't, this isn't really a huge learning curve, but for those of you who are coming from um, uh, different types of uh, genres of video games, it's a pretty good big learning curve just like any other game. Third thing that I'd like to talk to you guys about is when I first started the, or when you guys first start the beta, or anybody first starts the beta, it's sort of hard to get kills. Um, and what I mean by this is not that all the guns suck, is that there's a whole bunch of people that have played right when the beta came out, like on day one, at like midnight or something like that, and they have been uh, grinding all the way through. And they're like max ranks, or they're like the max rank, or something like that. And they have all of the guns, good guns, I should say. And if they don't have all the good guns, then they have the gun that you're using, but with all the um, attachments that they give them the advantage. So it it was a bit hard of it was a bit hard for me to start off, but after a while of playing, I I sort of got used to it. But um, yeah, it's it this like I was saying in the last um in the last one is that it is a pretty big learning curve and that's why I'm going to be saying that word the those two words it is I'm going to be using a lot because it is a really big learning curve um now fourth thing I'd like to talk to you guys about is the new um paint shop now for those of you who are unfamiliar with the paint shop it is essentially a you get to create your own camos it's a it and a lot of people, they've been getting really creative with these, and they've been making a lot of camos um, from CSGO, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, with uh, the new paint shop. And I find that really cool. For an example, um, for those of I saw one person do a, uh, a, a tiger tooth for their knife. And for those of you who don't know, that's like one of the um, most rare uh, type of uh, camos in uh, Counter-Strike. And he made one on his knife, and it looks really nice. And um, 
And yeah, so people have been getting really creative with it. I personally um, don't like to uh, have a whole bunch of designs on mine. I personally prefer to have just solid colors. And um, and also, the uh, like I was saying it before, a lot of people have been getting really creative. The designs that I've seen on some people's guns are just really amazing. The amount of time that some people put into just making one camo, for an example, is quite amazing. So to wrap up this whole video, guys, um, the Black Ops 3 beta, in my opinion, is really nice, although the uh, balancing system for when you first start is a bit sketchy. But, um, yeah, I've been having a great time playing, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Um, be sure to leave a like, comment down below what you liked about the video, or comment down below what you didn't like the, about the video. And be sure to subscribe, um, become part of the Wolf Pack. And yeah, I'll, I'll hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace.